heart disease occurs from a process called atherosclerosis, which is deposition of cholesterol or plaque in the walls of the arteries. And anything that causes damage to the walls of the arteries can cause the cholesterol to stick. The American Heart Association predicts that 80% of heart attacks and strokes may be preventable if people adopt lifestyle changes. So there's a simple mnemonic you can remember for modifiable cardiac risk factors, A, B, C, D, E. A stands for alcohol. So you want to keep your alcohol intake in moderation, less than one drink a day for women, less than two drinks a day for men. B stands for blood pressure. You want to keep your blood pressure less than 120 over 80, um, ideally, but 130 over 80 is the cutoff for medications. C stands for cholesterol. You want to keep that bad cholesterol, that LDL less than 100, and those triglycerides less than 150. C also stands for cigarettes. So if you smoke, you want to quit. D stands for diabetes or pre-diabetes. You really want to make sure that you're not on that spectrum. And if you are, then you start cutting your carbs, exercising more and losing weight as a way to reduce your risk of developing diabetes. And then E stands for exercise. You want to get at least 30 minutes of moderate to high intensity cardiovascular exercise five times a week. And with those lifestyle changes, you can actually dramatically reduce your risk for heart attacks and strokes and really, really help to prevent the process of atherosclerosis from occurring. Our online cardiac risk assessment links to a calculator and it takes just a few minutes to complete. You put in your age, your gender, your height, your weight, your race. You answer a few questions about health history and family health history. And after all these inputs, you will be given a percentage for your risk of cardiovascular disease and what you can do to improve that. Anyone with a risk of greater than 10% is considered moderate to high risk. So those are the people that really want to aggressively try to modify their risk factors. Now, even if your risk comes out to be low because it's less than 10%, remember age is the strongest predictor of risk. So your risk today may be very low because you're younger, but as you get older, that risk is going to go up even with the exact same numbers. So you can't modify age because that happens without our input. But if you start to modify the other risk factors, you can actually reduce the impact that age has on your risk. It is more important than ever to change those things that you can control to not only reduce the risk of heart disease, but to help you live your healthiest life.